thought I'd make this short video just to get you started um, with doing some coding. Now you've got some activities in the bottom of your presentation here and um, there's also a website that's a companion website that will help you to be able to do these activities. If I open um, the link up here, it'll bring you to the website called makecodemicrobit.org and what we're going to do is we're going to make um, some, um, some of these that are in your um, presentation. So the first one's called Flashing Heart. When this opens up, it's going to ask you how you want to view it. Python and JavaScript are um, both languages, both computing languages. Um, for this purpose, we're just going to use um, block blocks though. So we're going to click on blocks and it says, uh, do you want to do this? And that's what we're going to make. We're going to make this flashing heart. We go, okay, we'll make the flashing heart. Now this little video is like a little quick video to show you how to go about doing it. It says you get a forever block, then you go in and get a another block, pop that in, you put your heart into it. That will make the heart, but it won't actually make it flash. You have to do another step to make it flash. Okay, so what it's saying first of all is go to your block section here and get a show LEDs and click it onto your forever blocks. Now I've got that on, I can actually push that up a little bit higher. Then I'm going to go through and make my heart shape. Now if I left that alone, it's going to play the outside of my heart, but the heart they wanted was filled in. So I have to click the rest of the buttons or LEDs, turn them on, um, so that it will show my heart to be full. All right, so I know how to do, do this, but um, you're learning, so we'll go to the next step. So I'll go up here and click number three, and then it says, place another show LEDs block. You can leave it blank and draw what you want. Well, for our purpose, I just want you to leave it blank and pop it in down the bottom. We'll go to the next one. What does it say then? Um, look at the virtual mic a bit. You should see that the heart and um, your drawing will blink on the screen. Now it's blinking because this is on. This is showing everything on. This is showing everything off. So that's why it's blinking because it's showing one image, then the other, then the first image second and that's what ma is making it blink. Now what I want you to do after this is I want you to make a screen recording like I'm doing now. I've actually put a YouTube clip on there to show you how to do a screen recording. It's really easy. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, so um, I'm going to leave it at that. So once you've done your screen recording, you would then go um, back and um, Save it as your name with your file and then you'll put it into your slides presentation. Now the last thing I want to show you, so once you've done this one and you've videoed it, you can go backwards or not. Well, apparently we're not. Oh, here we go. Exit tutorial. All right. So here's my flashing hearts. It's there. Now at the moment, these are all saved. However, I have known before um, for them to disappear. So once you've made it, um, do your video straight away. So here's your other ones here. You'll just select another one. Now, if I go to the presentation, which is here, I would put my um, video that I've made um, into this flashing hearts. All right, so once you've um, saved it, save it to your downloads, make sure you name it flashing hearts, and then all you have to do is open up your downloads and then, oh, sorry, open up your Google Drive, um, upload your videos into a folder in your Google Drive, just call them videos, and then from that, insert your video. So insert a video from your Google Drive. All right, you'll just go and grab whatever the, your video I'll just grab this one here, um, go select. Um, it says, who do you want to share it with? 
you want to make sure that you've shared it with me. Um, so if mine, make sure that my name is on there um, for the share and then the video will come in and all you need to do is resize it, pull it down into your box, resize it um, so that it comes into the right size and it sits in your little box like that. All right, so when you make your video, because it's the first time that you've made it, you'll just share it to myself and Mr. Mansell. Um, I'll put the links um, down the bottom here so you'll know where to, um, to share it. All right then, I hope that that's been helpful. Um, make sure that you go back and look at the videos before um, asking 100 questions. All right, bye.